Hello everyone and welcome. I'm the Retro Repair Guy. First of all, I really need to apologize. I'm two and a half weeks late um, for releasing a restoration video. My God, so many things have happened. It all started, you know how there's like a butterfly effect thing <laughs> or a domino? Uh, it all started with me selling my uh, F-150. You might have seen it in an earlier episode, my red truck. Um, and I really loved my truck, by the way. I mean, we all loved it. But um, I think with the kids and everything, it wasn't suiting our needs. And last time I went to Tank Up was $255. Canadian, yes, but still. <laughs> it was uh, I, at least where I am. Okay, that's all. The gas is expensive. And so um, after that, anyways, one thing led to another. The guy really wanted my truck quick. So I ended up spending a week uh, looking for another vehicle. Now, at the same time, I had ordered my parts. Uh, my parts came in late. And uh, so then I was rushing to fix the radio and everything. Uh, I was fixing my uncle's radio, a, a radio you might have seen up there uh, at one point. It's a uh, AM, FM, shortwave, uh, all kind of stuff like that. So anyways, one thing led to another. I, um, I was running to the license bureau one day. And uh, what happened is the guy called me. He's like, I'm, I'm there a bit earlier. You know, can you come down? So I ran in the house. And uh, I mean, excuse me, ran out of the house. Yeah, I ran in the house. I ran out of the house. And um, I realized I forgot my paper. So I ran back into the house, took off my boots, everything went back outside again. And I realized I forgot a stupid screwdriver to take out the plate. So I run back in. Mrs. RIG is always yelling at me, take off your boots, take off your boots. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going in for a screwdriver. And so, of course, I didn't listen to her. I come down with my boots. And stupid me, I uh, <laughs> just trample over my, my camera. Uh, I broke the camera. The whole thing fell. The radio fell on the floor. I broke everything. Yes, from keeping my boots on. Okay, that's how I should listen to Mrs. RIG. <laughs> but anyways, I really this really happened, all of this. And, uh, and I'm going to get the radio. I'm going to show you. Oh, oh, yeah, that's pretty much what happened, by the way. Broke the radio and broke the camera. So, <laughs> anyway. And I do want to apologize as well for the... I'm Canadian, okay? So I'm going to apologize probably for apologizing. But I do apologize for the camera as well because uh, it's brand new. It's got all kinds of stuff, all kinds of features. I still don't know about it. i got this little remote that comes with it everything. So really cool, but uh, I still got to figure it out. So if ever it's a little off, uh, forgive me. It will be on soon. So um, this show, by the way, was supposed to be a show that's in between uh, two restorations. Now, because I screwed up, please let's not talk about it anymore. But because I screwed up, um, seriously, what's happened, I I'm releasing this, this now. Now, uh, why am I doing a review? Well, first of all, they reached out to me uh, for this little dongle that hooks up to... Uh, Nintendos and Super Nintendos. Now, because I do retro stuff here, is the only reason that I agreed to do a review. It's my very first review, uh, which, by the way, I put a disclaimer at the beginning uh, of the show there because of YouTube. I'm not sure, but I am not getting paid for this. This is an honest review. Uh, they just sent that to me to try it, uh, and I found it cool. So I, I, I said, you know, yeah, I want to review it. Um, so, like I said, it's going to be an honest review. And I am working on another restoration. It is coming soon. And so for the meantime, let's go take a look. The Wingman Converter is a small adapter that measures 2.3 by 2.1 inches and designed to allow you to plug a variety of controllers to the original NES, Nintendo Entertainment System and Super NES. It's made by a Taiwanese company called Brooks and their website shows that the company makes various interesting add-ons, adapters and other peripherals for the various old and new consoles out there such as Xbox, PlayStation and Nintendo. The adapter claims to be plug and play, have remappable buttons, a turbo button for continuous shooting and says it can support over 125 controllers. The item was very well packaged to prevent any damage. The top of the box simply reiterates the previously mentioned claims and the back shows the connection possibilities. Inside the box you'll find the controller, a double USB to micro USB cable and a Brook Company sticker. No manual or instructions are included. The unit has two wires sticking out, 
one for the NES and one for the SNES controller port. Excited like many, I grabbed my Xbox One controller, plugged the unit into the NES and tried to pair the unit. I was unable to pair it, so I tried my PS3 remote. Unsuccessful, I turned to their website and downloaded the manual. It states that the controller must be first plugged in in order to pair it with the unit. I was having problems with the wire that seemed to not connect properly and was extremely loose, so I tried the old controller to see if it was my unit that I had just repaired. After fiddling with it, I realized that the cable of the adapter has to be pushed firmly all the way in with some force. However, once in, it won't be easy to just pull out if you're using a wired controller. I went back to the manual to see if I had missed anything, but it clearly stated that my remotes were supported and these were my functioning remotes for my personal console. I really wanted this to work and checked out their website and found that they had firmware that was user upgradable. I downloaded the software and updated the module. By the way, because of my new camera, I had forgot to press the record button, so I did it again to show you how easy it is to update, but my firmware out of the box was at version 1.03 and it upgraded it to 1.28. I returned to the workbench and tried the Xbox controller. This time, the unit connected successfully right away with the remote plugged in. However, I was unable to get it to work wirelessly. It was then I realized that there was a technical note in the manual that stated that with the new firmware update, the Xbox Bluetooth controllers were no longer supported. Now it still supports the controller if it's wired to it, but it's definitely a minus since this is one of the advertised features. The PS3 remote also paired instantaneously, and after removing the wire, the controller worked wirelessly without any problems. I was also happy to see that turning the unit off did not require me to pair the remote with the unit again. Definitely a plus. So one last thing I wanted to do was crack this thing open to see what powers it. Inside, the board seems of good quality and everything seems well built. Everything is powered by this one chip which is a Nuvatun M48S GAA E2U. A Google search returned the information that this was a high performance, low power microcontroller with 256 kilobytes of flash RAM and two USB 2.0 controllers. For those interested, I posted the specs here, you can pause to look at them. While I'm not sure about its claims of supporting 125 plus controllers, and sadly it no longer supports the newer Xbox remotes, it apparently does support the Xbox 360 controllers, but I was unable to test it. And, as stated, the PS3 wireless controller worked flawlessly. If anything, it'll give your old console new functionality and help you enjoy hours of retro gaming with a little more comfort. Alright, so do I recommend this little dongle? I would say sure, why not? I think, and I could be wrong now, I don't know if that was their intention, but I think the intention here is really purely to play wireless uh, on your old Nintendo or Super Nintendo. Now, the thing is, is that um, I would have liked to see some improvements. I'm also a little bit upset that, you know, it came without the latest firmware and I have to upgrade it. But, you know, anybody who's been, you know, even on a computer or uh, install a game or anything, it's the easiest thing on Earth. Download the EXE, double click, and it does everything by itself. So I like that about it. Um, but like I said, I wish it out of the box. The little connector is really a little hard, but at the same time will prevent uh, pulling out if ever you do have something 
uh, plugged in. Now, I'm also a little bit upset because what's the point of having an Xbox controller if it can't connect wirelessly? I'm not going to have that heavy controller with a wire. I'd rather have the Nintendo uh, controllers. But, you know, it's also could be fun. Um, I know there's button remapping. I didn't do that. I didn't test it. Uh, but either way, even just using a PS3 remote, uh, and, and it kept, by the way, it kept the information of the remote, you know, the link between them, uh, even when I turned it off. So that was cool. And if you want to play, you know, uh, you turn it off, you turn it back on, you just want to grab your remote and play. That's cool. So I would say even just for playing with a PS3 uh, remote control wirelessly, your Nintendo, it's kind of cool. You know, I have to say uh, for that. I think that's the point, and that's what I would buy it for. Now, I will leave you a remote, uh, excuse me, a remote. I'm going to leave you a uh, link in the description uh, to uh, the jungle site that's going to be both for US and for Canada uh, because I don't see it on their website. It's a little bit strange uh, to buy. So, either way, you just buy it on Amazon. They have a store there. I believe it's $45 US. Uh, no, excuse me, Canadian. <laughs> So it's even cheaper. Uh, so I'm not sure how much it is US. I'm going to double check. And uh, so that's how I'm going to leave you an affiliate link in the description. If you're interested, you can go take a look. And uh, that's about it. I'll see you guys with a brand new restoration next week. Thanks for watching. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet and everything, you know what to do. I'm not going to repeat it. All right. Bye bye. Oh, come on. Nothing ever works. works.